Hey STAT students, I'm going to make a few videos for you for Unit 4 on prediction to help you with your discussion and hopefully your unit project as well. To begin with, I have the data set open that you are working with um, for your project and um, I want to make certain I use different variables than you're asked to do in the project, but so what I'm going to do is first off go to variable view so I can look here at the measure to see which data um, columns I can use and the ones that I guess what I want to take a look at is I want to look and see if there's any relationship between previous GPA or IQ on the final percent of the students in a statistics class. And I know I can do that because if I look, I can see that IQ is scale data, and then also previous GPA is scale data, and likewise, final course percentage is scale data. Percentages are going to be on um, scale. All right, so now that I know that's um, true, I'm going to go ahead and switch to data view. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go to analyze and I'm going to go to correlate and I'm going to go to bivariate because we're looking at a relationship between two variables. What I'm going to make here is a correlation table. I want to see, compare the relationship that exists between previous GPA and the final grade, but I also wanted to see what IQ, what effect that has on your final grade, if any. And then lastly, we'll have to look at the total points or final course percentage. That's what I said we were going to do. Okay, so I've got that there. Um, I'm going to click on options, which that's where if you want to have mean and standard deviations, you could add that information, but we don't need that. All I'm looking for is the correlation. So I'm going to go ahead and go OK. And there I get my correlation table. You'll notice that there's ones in this diagonal here because you could see that that column there is relating previous GPA to previous GPA down here, short form IQ to IQ and so on. So all of these are going to be ones. And what I'm interested in is to see what the relationship is between my final course percentage and what my previous J GPA was and also what my IQ was. Well, we learned last chapter that the larger your correlation, the closer it is to one, um, the stronger it is. But for something to be considered to be a strong correlation, it's usually over 5 tenths, 0.5. Um, but since this is an example, and I just want to show you what we're going to be doing, I'm going to keep it as it is. You'll see that the correlation between IQ and final course percent is only 362 thousandths, which hopefully that makes sense because to me, your final course percentage, a lot of it has to do with your mindset and your willingness to work and go from there. It's not about IQ. Also, your previous GPA, its relationship with final course percent is 44 hundredths. 0.44, and so that's larger than 0.362, so I know that there's a larger relationship between previous GPA and final course percent than there was between short-term IQ and final course percent. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this to my Word document, and I've noticed something that is hopefully will be helpful to you. If you go to Copy Special, you can save this as a JPEG, as an image. And to me, I like to do that because it seems like it's a lot easier to move pictures around, resize them, than it is to do um, charts and things of that nature. So 
I'll open up, I'm going to hit OK, and then I'm going to open up a Word document. Close these here. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and say um, this is my correlation table. Showing the relationship between GPA, previous GPA, IQ, and final course percentage. All right, so then what I'm going to do is right click on it, and then you'll see it says paste. Okay. And I've discovered something here. You get this little icon here, which you don't need to worry about it. Just hit escape and it disappears. And then you've got your picture of your table. And so you can make it a smaller size if you want. Now, again, I wanted to show, just remind you that what we're going to, what I'm going to do in the next video is I am going to take and use the relationship between previous GPA and final course percentage because it has a larger correlation. Stay tuned for the next video.